All right, guys, got the first terminal's post turned to size here, which was hanging out like that. Turned to size with the set screw holding it. Now we're gonna just pop her out, and the post is turned to the size of the reamed hole right there, which is offset half the distance between the two holes, right? Now we need to go to the second step here, and you just pop that in there, and it is a slip fit, and it's a perfect fit. There's absolutely no wiggle room at all. I mean, I'm really pulling on that, but obviously just cinch down the set screw again, drill, well, drill your big hole, little hole, then just flip it around, pop it back in, hit the set screw again, and drill out your next hole, and then you're just done. I'm going to have to come up with a way to uh, fixture these on the drill press so it's a lot easier. I'm thinking about making this aluminum plate here, which is really nice and covered with crap as you can see, but make uh, dowel pins and uh, tapped holes all over this thing so that I can put a dowel pin, like a half inch dowel pin or whatever, in this well, in the chuck here and then slip it through my hole so I know I'm on point and then just have different dowel pins and whatnot set up. Um, as far as mowing a flat, I do have an XY table for that drill press, but uh, I may go other routes to mow the flat on the post here because you're going to need a flat there for the set screw. But as far as the lathe end of everything, this is working out really well. I think that's going to hold true. Um, obviously, just pop it in here. I'm going to face it off too so that they're all the same length. Now that I have the DRO, that'll make that nice and easy. Um, but more when it happens.